Hello folks, welcome back to WIF Facts, and for today's video, let's look at the top 10 poisonous creatures in the world. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button so you'll be notified of future videos. Poisonous organisms employ toxins, which are substances that can cause significant harmful effects on the body even in small doses for self-defense or to capture prey. These creatures usually secrete their toxins passively through their skin, which can affect other organisms that touch or ingest them. According to David Nelson, a biologist at Southern Adventist University in Tennessee, poisonous species only use their toxins defensively to prevent themselves from being consumed by predators. If a predator ingests these toxins, they can quickly spread throughout the body causing temporary illness or death depending on the amount and type of poison. While some poisonous animals obtain their defenses from their surroundings, others produce their own toxins. Starting our list at number 10, Asian Tiger Snake. The Asian Tiger Snake, also commonly referred to as the Tiger Keelback, is a species that hails from East Asia and Southeast Asia. It has an olive drab green color pattern on its back, with bright orange crossbars or spots along with black and a whitish belly. The average total length, including the tail, is usually 24 to 39 inches. This particular snake is the only species known to be both venomous and poisonous on this list. Not only does it create toxins for its bite, but it also retains poison from the toads it preys on in glands located in its skin. The snake's main source of food consists of small vertebrates such as frogs and toads, especially cane toads which is why they have glands in their necks filled with bufotoxin from the toad for self-defense. Due to their behavioral adaptation to environmental temperature, they can decide when to be venomous or poisonous. Tiger keelbacks are solitary and are primarily found near water bodies. They are active during the day and spend most of their time searching for prey, detecting it using both chemical, smell and tongue, and visual cues. They assume a characteristic threat posture, raising the front third of their body almost vertically, hissing, and striking towards their enemy when sensing danger. These snakes have glands in their neck that secrete poison they obtain from eating poisonous toads, which scares away predators. Their saliva and secretion of the upper labial glands can cause severe poisoning if in contact with a wound. Number 9. Hooded Potohui. The hooded Potohui is a bird species found in New Guinea characterized by reddish-brown and black feathers and a medium-sized build with 8.7 to 9.1 inches long. It is one of the rare known poisonous birds, containing various batrachotoxin compounds in its skin, feathers, and other tissues. These toxins are believed to originate from their diet and serve the purpose of repelling predators and defending the bird against parasites. The discovery made by Jack Dumbacker from the California Academy of Sciences suggests that the Patohuis obtain their batrachotoxins from small malirid beetles that they consume as part of their diet. In experiments that involved testing the toxicity of the bird's tissue, it was observed that their skins and feathers contained the most toxins, followed by the heart and liver, and the skeletal muscles contained the least amount of toxins. Additionally, the feathers covering the breast and belly of the bird were found to have the highest levels of toxins. Number 8. Hawksbill Sea Turtle the hawksbill sea turtle is a species of marine turtle that primarily inhabits tropical and subtropical waters in coral reefs around the world. On average, they typically grow to 3 feet in length and weigh 80 kilograms. Like other sea turtles, they have a flattened body, a protective carapace, and flipper-like limbs adapted for swimming in the open ocean. Their carapace varies in color from dark to golden brown, with streaks of orange, red, and black and is characterized by a distinctive pattern of overlapping scales that form a serrated edge. This unique appearance makes them highly sought after and often sold in markets as tortoiseshell. Hawksbills have a beak-like mouth similar to that of a hawk, which enables them to locate food sources in hard-to-reach cracks and crevices. They are omnivorous and feed on seagrasses, sea urchins, barnacles, small animals, and sponges. Interestingly, some of the sponges and small animals they consume are toxic making the hawksbill sea turtle the third species on our list that consumes poisonous prey. After the Asian tiger snake and hooded potohui, the toxins are absorbed into the turtle's body fat without causing harm, but their meat can be potentially poisonous to humans. Despite this, the harvesting of hawksbill sea turtles for their meat continues. Number 7. Cane Toad The cane toad, also known as the giant neotropical toad or marine toad, is a large and bumpy amphibian that is poisonous and terrestrial in nature. 
Adults have an average size of 4 to 6 inches in length, with the largest recorded having a snout vent length of 9.4 inches. The species is native to South and mainland Central America but has been introduced to various islands throughout Oceania and the Caribbean, as well as Northern Australia, where it was hoped to help control agricultural pests. The cane toad has poison glands, and its tadpoles are highly toxic to most animals if ingested. This toad's toxic skin can be lethal to many animals, both wild and domesticated. Cane toads are particularly harmful to dogs, biting, licking, or eating them can cause their death. They are opportunistic eaters and will consume almost anything, including insects, small birds, other reptiles and amphibians and small mammals. Cane toads secrete a milky poison called bufotoxin from the parotoid glands behind the shoulders. Bufotoxin consists of several different chemicals, such as bufagin, which affects the heart, and bufotenin, a hallucinogen. Some animals that survive and thrive eating these poisonous toads are the tenth on our list, the Asian tiger snake and crows. The clever birds have learned how to eat toads by avoiding the most toxic parts. Number 6. Poison dart frog. Poison dart frog, also known as dart poison frog, poison frog, or formerly known as poison arrow frog, is found only in the humid and tropical environments of Central and South America. These frogs are typically small, with some species growing less than 0.59 inches in adult length, while others can grow up to 2.4 inches in length. These frogs are among the most poisonous or toxic species on Earth and most of them display aposematic patterns with bright colors to warn predators. The frog's bright coloration is associated with their toxicity levels of alkaloids. These colorful designs tell potential predators that they are toxic and should not be consumed. The poison dart frogs get their toxicity from some of the insects they consume, such as fruit flies, ants, termites, young crickets, and tiny beetles. Scientists believe these insects may be responsible for the frog's toxicity. Number 5. Spanish Fly The Spanish fly is a metallic emerald green blister beetle that is widely distributed across Eurasia. The adult beetle is a slender, soft-bodied insect that is approximately 0.20 inches wide by 0.79 inches long. It primarily feeds on leaves from various plants such as ash, lilac, amor privet, honeysuckle, and white willow although it is occasionally found on plum, rose, and elm. The Spanish fly's defensive chemical, cantharidin, is synthesized only by males and is dangerously toxic. Females obtain it from males during mating. Cantharidin inhibits the enzyme phosphatase 2A, causing irritation, blistering, bleeding, and discomfort. These effects can escalate to erosion and bleeding of mucosa in each system followed by severe gastrointestinal bleeding and acute tubular necrosis and glomerular destruction, leading to gastrointestinal and renal dysfunction, organ failure, and even death. The Spanish fly's metallic green coloration is thought to serve as an aposematic warning to potential predators. To avoid consuming it. Number 4. Cone Star the comb star, also known as the sand-sifting starfish, is a type of sea star that can be found in the Indo-Pacific region. It has a spread of up to 8 inches across its arms. The upper surface of the comb star is dark purplish in color, while the underside is orange. On its upper surface, there are cream, gray, or brown paxilli, which are little pillars with flattened summits that sometimes make a chevron pattern. The comb star is often found buried in the silty seabed and feeds on detritus, bivalve, and gastropod mollusks, and sometimes even engulfs pebbles to digest the biofilm and small invertebrates adhering to the surface. The echinoderm stores the potent neurotoxin, tetrodotoxin, TTX, in its spikes or spines. Every gram of a cone star's flesh contains enough toxin to kill 520 mice, and there is currently no known antidote to tetrodotoxin. The toxin causes paralysis and eventual death from respiratory failure, and we're down to three. If you made it up here, it means you're liking the video. You might as well click that like and share button so your friends can also enjoy this video. At number 3, rough-skinned newt. The rough-skinned newt, also known as the rough-skinned newt, is a stout-bodied North American newt that is widespread throughout the Pacific Northwest. It is typically light brown, olive, or brownish black on its dorsal surface, with a contrasting orange to yellow underside that includes the head, legs, and tail. These newts measure 2.4 to 3.5 inches in snout to vent length and 4.3 to 7.1 inches overall. The rough skin newt is diurnal and feeds mostly on small invertebrates, 
both on land and in water. Like many newts, those of the Tericha genus produce toxins from their skin glands as a defense against predators. The toxins of the rough skin newt are particularly potent, and an acrid smell is emitted from the newt to warn animals to stay away. Although toxicity is generally only experienced if the newt is ingested, some people have reported skin irritation after touching the animal, especially if they touch their eyes after handling it without washing their hands. Number 2. Striated Surgeonfish The striated surgeonfish can be found in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific region and is commonly seen inhabiting reef flats, lagoons, and seaward reefs at depths of up to 30 meters. It has a dark body with thin, bluish stripes and can grow up to 9.5 inches in size though the observed size is usually around 7 inches. Its diet consists of blue-green algae, diatoms, and various small invertebrates found on the surface film. While the striated surgeonfish is mostly herbivorous, it can sometimes be toxic due to consuming certain microscopic dinoflagellates that produce a toxin known to cause saguatera poisoning. This toxin can accumulate in the fish's tissues, and if consumed by humans, it can lead to neurological damage that can even be fatal. And at number 1, pufferfish. The blowfish, also known as pufferfish, are typically found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters, but some species inhabit brackish and even fresh water. They possess long, tapered bodies with bulbous heads and lack scales, often having rough or spiky skin. These fish have fused teeth that form a beak-like structure and may exhibit bright colors and bold markings to signal their toxicity. The smallest species, the dwarf or pygmy puffer, measures just one inch in length, while the freshwater giant puffer can grow over two feet long. Their diet consists mainly of invertebrates and algae, although larger specimens will feed on shellfish, mussels, and clams. Biologists believe that their inflatability evolved as a defense mechanism since their sluggish swimming style makes them vulnerable to predators. They use their elastic stomachs and ability to ingest large amounts of water or air to puff up and become unappetizing. Some species have spines on their skin to further deter predators. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a potent toxin that makes them unpalatable and often deadly to fish. This toxin is also highly toxic to humans, with enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adults. Unfortunately, the meat of some pufferfish is considered a delicacy, especially in Japan, where it is known as fugu. It is extremely expensive and only prepared by trained and licensed chefs, as even a small mistake can be fatal to customers. And that completes our list of the top 10 poisonous creatures on earth. Thanks for sticking with me until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.